Good to have you with us, Dan. So what does well, thanks, this Tyler. fact that the, that, the, uh, that the NASDAQ hit its 200-day moving average tell you, if anything, are we anywhere near the bottom that um, Bob referenced earlier? No, I, I don't think so. In fact, I actually remember several years ago talking to you and we discussed this same thing. And I'll just repeat what I said then. Bottoms don't happen at tops. And we are still, uh, you, we don't even really know if this is a top or just a higher base. It always seems that that's, we just chop around for quite a while, ring everything out and then move higher. But at this point, I think the s and P's down just something like 5%, 4 or 5% from the high. NASDAQ's down a bit more than that, but still not anywhere near a bottom. I think what we're seeing today is a technical bounce. That's really what I, I believe. The yields are rising, and what that disfavors is tech. I, just, I think all of these uh, tech bounces, you can just look at the charts and see rebounds off of either key support or off of key moving averages. But the money is really coming out of tech and into the financials. And that's kind of always the case with the rising rate uh, environment. Dan, it's Kelly here. My quibble with hey, the Kelly. notion that bottoms don't happen at tops is that the sell-offs we've seen over the past several years, even last cycle, were so quick but short-lived that it's become harder and harder to buy the dip. So many people have stopped trying. They just say long. And they hold. You know, I think the typical sell-off has been in the range of maybe five or eight percent. They've been fast. They've been, qu you know, quick. And we've moved on and we've gone to new highs every single time. So, what would you say to people who say we've only ever had bottoms near tops? Well, I, we, we haven't only ever had bottoms near tops, but frankly, most of them have been. I think the, you know, the question would be how are, you, how do you define a bottom? I just kind of look at these things in a very, very major way if you're talking a bottom, if you're talking about a trading bottom, an opportunity to buy things, um, sure. However, back on December 20th, we had the same exact setup as we're having now. We had these this big gap down, big scary drop during the day, and then actually a strong close. Uh, we have the same type of setup now where the S&P and the NASDAQ have each come down five consecutive days. So we're just really ripe for a rebound. I can't go out and predict whether the market from this little bounce is going to roll over. Nobody can. Uh, a lot of people seem to think they can, but they really can't. Um, so at this point, all I'm seeing is that, yeah, I think we have a technical bounce. Um, I think... Uh, as long as I got my charts in front of me. Yeah, I, I, thought, I think Microsoft can be bought today, but only for a trade. Uh, it's still trending down. The others are too. Uh, you can look at the Canary and the coal mine, which, is, uh, which I look at as ARK Innovation. Um, that's still going lower. And until that stops going lower, I think there's still probably a little too much speculation in the market. How about those, By regional, the way, how about those regional banks that you mentioned uh, just a few moments ago? Is that a place to make money for profit over the next few you months? You know, I, I think it is. Um, I was, you know, I've been looking at all these different sectors and the ones, and oil's good, energy's good, industrials are good, metals are just kind of drifting around, looking okay. But the banks are really what are moving. And if you want to look at an a, uh, the chart, I think you have it there, of the banks versus the 10-year uh, the yield, you can see that there's a perfect correlation there. And these are stocks that are performing over 90, you know, over 90 percent of stocks uh, in the market right now. So I really like the mm -hmm. regional banks better than the large banks, which are also doing okay. But if you're just looking for things that you're going to make money on right yeah. now, Go for the go for the lesser known names. They'll give you better profits.